for this demonstration, I'm going to show you the effects of adding a strong acid or base on a non-buffered and buffered solution. So first I have right here some distilled water and you can see what the pH is and I'm going to add a single drop of hydrochloric acid. Let's see, the pH is starting to go down. Let's add one more drop and get that in there. Add another. With two drops, you can see the pH is really starting to drop now. And if I add a third drop, that sends the pH down yet another whole unit. Keep in mind, one unit change in pH is changing the amount of H pluses in solution by a factor of 10. If I add one more drop, See, the pH just keeps on dropping. Similarly, if I took a solution of distilled water, and I took some distilled water, and to it I add some strong base, some sodium hydroxide, which I definitely did not borrow from one of the lab groups. Add a single drop, and that's sending the pH right on up. These pH meters are a little slow to respond sometimes. Add a second drop, pH is really climbing on up there. Third drop. A fourth drop. And a fifth drop. And you can see we've had a very dramatic change in pH there, just with five drops. Now, what if instead we use a buffer solution? So I have right now a buffer solution here. This consists of uh, sodium hydrogen phosphate and sodium dihydrogen phosphate, which makes a nice buffer solution with a pH of seven. So if I add some hydrochloric acid, let's see what happens. Add a drop, add a second drop, a third drop, a fourth drop, a fifth drop, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30 drops of hydrochloric acid and the pH still 6.98 you can see it back here if the camera would focus on that All right. so let's check out the buffer solution actually I can just keep well let's try a different set of the buffer solution with I should be back to that pH let's try adding the base Let's focus in on the pH there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We just had a whole bunch of drops. You can see the pH, although it did go up, did not go up by very much. So that's one buffer solution. I have yet another buffer solution I can show you that I've made using acetic acid and sodium acetate. We'll see what happens with it. See if I can keep 
the everything in view for you. So with this one, this one has a pH of around 4.65. So let's see what happens if I add some hydrochloric acid. See, I keep adding drops and the pH, although it goes down, is not going down by a whole lot. Similarly, if I take the base and I start adding it, I'll just pour it in instead of using the dropper. You can see the base brings the pH up, but I'm adding a whole lot of it, and the pH did not change by a huge amount. So that's the benefit of buffer solutions, is that they resist changes in pH. So, there you go.